hello dear students today we will start the next part in the module 5 material science that is the semiconductors so what do you mean by semiconductors semiconductor is a material whose conductivity lies in between that of conductor and the insulator so these are the special type of material whose conductivity always lies in between the conductor and an insulator so you have studied uh, the band theory in the band theory all of you know that there will be a valence band and there will be a conduction band so in the semiconductors the valence band will be always filled with electrons the conduction band will be always free and these two bands will be separated by a small energy gap right so this is the condition of a semiconductor now the semiconductors are classified into two types intrinsic semiconductors and extrinsic semiconductors so the intrinsic semiconductors like germanium and silicon which are without any doping is called as intrinsic semiconductors extrinsic semiconductors the semiconductors doped with impurities like indium arsenic etc are called extrinsic semiconductor doping is done to increase the conductivity of semiconductors again there are two type of extrinsic semiconductors n type of semiconductor and p type of semiconductor and this classification is going to be done on the basis of the type of a dopant or type of doping we will do in the semiconductors that is trivalent and the pentavalent that already you have studied so this is all basics about the semiconductors now we are going to have the expression for electron concentration n e the expression for electron concentration is given by so how much is the electron concentration in the semiconductors that can be given as n e is equals to 4 root 2 divided by h cube pi m e star k into t raised to 3 by 2 e raised to e f minus e g divided by k t where m e star the effective mass of electron effective mass it is k is the Boltzmann constant t is the temperature in the absolute scale e f is the Fermi energy e g is the energy gap and h is the Planck's constant so this is the expression for electron concentration similarly in the semiconductors there will be positive charge carriers which we will call it as hole so we have expression for hole concentration and that is given by nh nh is equals to 4 root 2 divided by h cube pi m star h k into t raised to 3 by 2 into e to the power of minus ef divided by kt where mh star is the effective mass of electron remaining all the terms will remain same as mentioned here so these are the expression for the whole concentration which are positive charge carriers and the expression for electron concentration which are negative charge carriers okay now why we are discussing these two is because we have a derivation that is we have to derive an expression for Fermi level in intrinsic semiconductor so we have to show the where is the Fermi level in an intrinsic semiconductor or it is also called as the relation between Fermi energy and Fermi gap Fermi energy and Fermi gap for an intrinsic semiconductor so for an intrinsic semiconductor since it is uh, not doped the number of holes per unit volume in valence band is equals to number of electrons per unit volume in the conduction band that is n e is equals to nh the 
electron concentration is always equals to hole concentration. So since we have already known the expression for these two, so we can write the expression for them in terms of uh, electron concentrations. Since when you compare these two terms, we can simplify it. So this common term and this common term is going to be cancelled out. This pi kt, pi kt is going to be cancelled out and we will be left with here is the EF and here is the F, it will become E raised to 2 EF minus EG is there divided by KT. This is equals to MH star divided by ME star raised to 3 by 2. Now, to this by taking natural logarithm on both the side we get we have to take the natural logarithm on both the side and we will be getting after applying the natural logarithm 2 ef minus eg divided by kt is equals to 3 by 2 ln of mh star divided by me star or this i can just rearrange it as ef is equals to this two will be brought here 3 by 4 kt ln of mh star me star plus eg divided by 2 in this we already know that me star is equals to mh star that is for our convenience we have considered the mass of electron the effective mass of electron and the effective mass of hole is always equal and when these two are equal, this term is going to be 1. That is ln of 1 is equals to 0. So this entire term is going to be 0. And that is the reason we can write. Hence, EF is equals to EG divided by 2. This EF is equals to EG divided by 2. Thus, Fermi level in the middle is in the middle of the band gap for intrinsic semiconductor. So if you consider an intrinsic semiconductor, its Fermi level will be always in the middle of the band gap or the energy gap. So this is the meaning of the entire expression. EF is equals to EZ divided by 2. So this is the expression for Fermi level in intrinsic semiconductor. Thank you.